There's a makeup trend in China where women are trying to look mixed European. Why is this going viral and what's going on? Let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, this sparked an online discussion. Some people think it's silly. Some people think it's serious. Some people think that this is mixed race fishing, which is the opposite of Asian fishing. Anyway, let's just play the TikTok clip. You might have heard of Asian fishing. We'll see non-Asian people attempting Asian makeup styles and those even attempting Asian makeup styles to claim they are apparently mixed race. However, have you ever wondered whether there's another side to this inside China? So let me enlighten you on mixed race makeup in China. Yes, this is a thing. It is called Xie Zhuang in Mandarin, which literally means mixed blood look. And on Chinese social media app Xiaohongshu, there are tens, hundreds of thousands of posts um, of people emulating this look using this hashtag. As someone who is um, mixed European and Chinese myself, this is fascinating. We could definitely elaborate on looking at these kinds of trends in proximity to um, whiteness, colorism, etc. So right now, I just wanted to show you the other side of the spectrum when all you might have seen is non-Asian people trying East Asian popular makeup. All right, man. I mean, listen, guys, uh, it's very difficult to fully analyze this, Andrew, because this is a trend from Xiao Hongshu and Douyin in China, but I guess it's being discussed and analyzed in America on TikTok and on other platforms, right? Yeah, I think when you think about stuff like this from an American lens, there's two ways. You can either look at it like, oh, these are girls just cosplaying. It's just makeup. Who cares? Because that's pri probably primarily what it is. But then on the other side, you can take it way deeper and be like, oh, these women want to look white and there's a superiority complex and there's white fishing and then there's this and that and the colorism or, and stuff. Or is it, is it not okay when white... Uh, female creators do Asian fishing, but it, maybe it's more okay. Or or is it just like when things are in an American context, people should know better, but when things are in the East, it's subject to a different set of standards and thresholds. Well, we're gonna talk about it, so please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. But David, one thing that is truly Chinese, but also kind of Western, is Smile La Sauce. Check it out, everybody loves it. Check out our Instagram right now to see all the fun content. It's delicious. Anyways, David, um, what's your quick thought on this? Well, I got real my quick, I, I think we have to define it. This is uh, translated directly from the Chinese. Uh, I, I don't have like a full explanation of what they call Andrew Huan Xue Zhuang. Like Hua Zhuang in Mandarin is to put on makeup. Huan Xue means mixed blood. Huan Xue mm. Xue's blood. Anyway, it says. Who says that mixed race makeup is not suitable for Asians? The recently emerged wolf Asian makeup is mixed race makeup, especially created for Asian faces. It is wild and cool and suitable for all skin colors. It is non-selective makeup style. It's worth mentioning that you don't need deep eye sockets or European style double eyelids to achieve wolf-like Asian makeup. The ma focus of its makeup is on wild eyebrows and raised eyelashes. Even if you don't know how to wear eyeliner, you can still use false eyelashes to create Create a raised eyelashes atmosphere. So this was basically a breakdown in Chinese, originally translated into English, of how to get this look. So of course, Andrew, it's a raised nose bridge, more sharper chin, a lot of contouring. I guess really the big deal here to me is that um, I think some people see it as problematic because there's some white people who are dressing up as Asians, saying they're Asian, and then there's this Asian trend in Asia about like looking more mixed, but I really think it just comes down to if you're doing it for content makeup reasons and you're just cosplaying or you actually think you are that race. Was the Asian fishing to you in America a big deal or not a big no, deal? No, no, I don't think if it's left in a cosplay way, I don't care if a white person puts on makeup to appear like an anime Right, character. especially if they're just showcasing their yeah. makeup skill, high level yeah. of makeup skill, right? Who cares, yeah. Now, if they are trying to re-identify as Asian, that's weird. Is it problematic? I don't know, it's weird. We've talked about it before, but also, again, to the Chinese girls who are doing this, they're showing you the process, so it's not like they think they're European all of a sudden, and they're not acting European. If they turn into Europe, if, if they put on the makeup and they're like, hello, I am a European Parisian girl now, right. and I think I'm better than other Chinese people, and mixed blood women are better than full blood Asian women, then that's more of a problem. Yeah, I always <laughs> thought that everybody getting mad about um, 
you know, even Asian fishing, they were sort of reaching and they probably were like a more of an internet crowd that isn't exposed to heavy like street violence against Asians. Because if you really weigh the current level of street violence, of random street violence against Asians in America versus Asian fishing, one is about 1,000 times more pressing. But I get it. You might not relate to that. That might not be your life. That might not feel like an area you can comment on. So you comment on Asian fishing. But is it... Now, let's say nobody here is trying to become a different race. They're just looking like different races. Uh, is this flattering? Should Asians be kind of flattered? Like, hey, like... What are you talking about? For Asian fishing as well as should Hapa girls be flattered that some girls in China on Douyin want to look like them? Yeah. Like, is it is it flattering at all? Yes. Honestly, I think if you don't overthink it, why wouldn't it be? Right. It's because people think it's cool to look like you, yeah. at least even for just a day a week or a day a month. Yeah, and I think there's plenty of white people actually now in 2023 who view Asians as, and rightfully so based off of the media, the sweetest, cutest, most kawaii, eggyo like people in the world. Like, because Asians kind of epitomize well, well, that. Well, Asian society, let's be honest, on a, on a Confucian, like, Taoist Buddhist level, is very, very different. Yeah, so I'm saying if you, some European or white girls or black girls even are thinking, view Asians that way, and then they're like, yeah, well, I just want to be cute and kawaii, so if I take on that look, like, I think that's interesting. That's right. a cute look. Right, you think, you're saying non-Asian girls are like, I'm super shy. Yeah. So, like, I, I want to look just like, like that. Just like the Chinese girls or pretty much any Asian girl who ever put on makeup to try to look more Western, they're just thinking like, yeah, I just want to look more Western. Yeah, the Oz Uzbek Kazakh girls are so pretty from yeah. Central Asia, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, Do you think uh, there's any influence from, uh, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I'm not remembering the name right now. Uh, is there any influence from, who's the snowboarder girl? Eileen Gu. Ooh. Because Eileen Gu got big in China. She has a very hopper look. Do you think that that encouraged the girls on social media at all to try to use makeup to imitate that look? Sure, maybe, but I, I, I don't think it's just her. I mean, I think, to be honest, Asians, everybody always wanted to look like a different race. White people want to look black. Black people, some black people want to look white. Some Asians want to look black. Some Asians want to look white. There's just always been this dynamic. Right, right, right. But we are going to get into it, Andrew, the deep cuts, the offensive parts, because there is this comment, Andrew, it gets spicy. Many Asians are obsessed with European culture and European facial features, and many Europeans are obsessed with Asian cuisine, music, and anime. So perhaps, Andrew, the fetishization cuts both ways. I think it's possible, yeah. Anyway, let's get into the comments section. Somebody said, these type of looks are definitely for the camera. Seeing in someone with an IRL looks kind of weird, but I'm still obsessed with these creative Douyin concepts. So this person is defending the Douyin creator saying that this is not for like everyday lifestyle to cosplay another race. It's just like a fun creative display of talent. Yeah, obviously they show you their real face. They're not actually trying to trick you. Right. Somebody says, as somebody who's actually mixed race, this is so funny to me, but I can also see how it's problematic. This other mixed girl said, I have feelings about this that I can't even describe. Somebody said, what a weird problematic trend, but I'm still here for the video. But it doesn't mean that it's not problematic. Um, I, I, I don't, I think these people are overusing the word problematic. I don't think it's problematic overall. People love that word in 2020. Yeah, they love to say everything's problematic, but I still love it. It's problematic, but I'll watch it. I'll watch all the videos, but it's problematic. I'm here for it, for the problems. All right. No, no here, it's not here, problematic. Here, here, not. Here's some of the explanations because, Andrew, different people thought it was problematic for different reasons. Some hoppers thought that they are like, oh man, the full Asians are taking our hopper identity and hoppers, we never fully get represented in media because everybody's always gonna represent a white person or an Asian person, so we're the ignored ones. That I, I saw that comment. Like uh, we said- I don't agree with it though, that's not true. Right, right, right. In but maybe you, you, they could feel it as a person, whether or That's not fine. it's true in a macro statistical sense. Somebody said it's problematic because there is no Blasian makeup trend, but only a Wasian makeup trend trending right now so that's the problem trending but what do you mean trending i mean i've definitely seen blasian makeup before like we've seen this in the dance right, hall right. like yeah it's not it's not on the same trendiness i agree but i've seen it before somebody said that it's interesting because as a chinese white mixed person they find it flattering but they would detest it if white people do it the other way how much is it of, is the power dynamic like we said before is it it's not okay for white people to asian fish 
but it could be more okay no. for the Asian girls to hop to, a fish. To me, the problem is when white people say they are Asian. If they are cosplaying as black, as Asian, as whatever else you want, cosplaying as a basketball player, cosplaying as an Asian chef. Right. Or just like, you mean lying to people, yeah. basically, like catfishing no, people. No, 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 cosplaying is different than lying. Like, if when they're transracial and they're like, yes, I have did all these surgeries. You're talking about like Ollie London? Yeah, because I'm Asian. Actually, I'm Asian on the inside. That's weird. But I'm just saying if they're just like, hey, guys, um, you know, I'm just a little Irish girl and right. I just love K-pop. So here's my transformation. Eat the ducky mask. And, and I think oftentimes, this is a little bit of an aside, when people are Asian fishing and they want to cosplay as an Asian, they're almost cosplaying as the most stereotypical anime character of an Asian, not even just like a regular Asian American. Or, or they're, they're going to cosplay, really cosplay they're as gonna, an ABG. Yeah, they're going to cosplay as a K-pop idol, not like a regular Korean person that you would see walking around Gangnam. They usually K. Uh, they usually cosplay as like a Japanese, like, and yeah, like anime a Final character. Fantasy Seven yeah, character or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said at some point in Japan, many female models seen on magazines and TVs were mixed race people, and they had a whole full page of how to look hafu. Hafu mm. is the term for uh, hapa in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew, Japan has had a different relationship with mixed people because I believe there have been more mixed people in Japan for a longer time than in China. So every Asian country is sort of at a different place with their relationship with Hapa people. In my opinion, Eileen Gu is the first very popular Chinese Hapa that is considered Chinese. Mm. Even though, of course, some of her Chineseness has got called into question recently. Mm -hmm. um, somebody says, I feel you. I find this makeup weird, but it's interesting because I'm Asian. And someone's saying, yeah, I just don't know. Is is are, is Hapa just become an aestheticized concept? And uh, yeah, I don't know. You know what's interesting? Do you think that Hapa see themselves as their own tribe that deserves representation or they feel equally represented by the white side and the Asian, by by full white and full Asian representation? I don't know. I mean, I see Hapa's uh, kind of trending and like representing themselves. Like, yo, I'm 100% Chinese and I'm 100%, you know, white European. But, but that's more that's of a recent feel. thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they can, they, yeah, they should feel proud. That's cool, whatever. Like, yeah. No so, problem there. Somebody said, funny how they try to look like Slavs. And uh, then there were some photos of, obviously, the uh, Siberian mixed with Russians, Uzbeks, Kazakhs. That whole region, Andrew, has been mixed with a lot of uh, interesting mixes for quite some time. It's resulted in a very interesting look, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say... Uh whether it's Kazakh, Siberian, Uzbekistan, you know, like some type of one of those Central Asian or like right, where, where it's almost like uh, they probably got realistically in that region Russian, Slavic, white blood, Arabic blood, and a lot of like Mongolian or Korean or Chinese all mixed together over time. I guess at the end of the day, David, for me, what I'm gonna find offensive, if anything at all, is when people try to claim that they're like. I guess a different race. But until then, it's just cosplaying and it's all fun. Yeah. Like I don't really care. If you see the transformation, who cares what's trending? I think that there I'm not gonna doubt that there's a blazing trend. But then again, it's gonna be controversial because it's like, oh, are you darkening your skin? Right. Now it's gonna it's be blackface. Now you can't do it. So everything can be offensive. Obviously, if they're makeup girls on Douyin and that's what their channel is about, then... That's how they make a living, right? It's transforming themselves into no big deal. a Harry Potter character. It's just, a, it's just a Halloween costume. If they are saying, yeah, now I am a white person, then you're what, like... Okay, what, what, if, what if the Douyin influencer said, yeah, if you go to America and you use this Huan Shui Zhuang, you will be more treated better and accepted by the dominant class. Oh. Now, I'm just, that could get... then. I mean, that would be, that's actually like somewhat true, but it's controversial. But anyways, I don't know. I mean, that's so, so this is, I guess it's a funny trend to see, but it doesn't like shock me because Asian Americans or Asians across the world have always tried to look European or look like something else. I mean, again, there's that whole trend in Japan. They look cholo. They look um, Ganguro, black. Gan yeah, Ganguro yeah, they look, for they like look, 25 they, years. Yeah. They take on a Jamaican like dance hall, like reggae uh, Junko, vibe. Junko, right? Yeah. yeah, so... Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will say this. I don't think you can always look at everything in Asia through an American lens, but I could totally see why in an American lens in a multicultural society and the way that identities sort of are synced with political identities here, how it could be problematic. But just if it's in Asia, I feel like it's got to go by just how they live over there. Hey, smile sauce, guys. 
Eastern and Western. Check out the Instagram right now. Order at smallasauce.com. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. We encourage debate. Was this problematic? Is Asian fishing problematic? Is hopper fishing problematic? Who knows? You guys see the vid. Make your own decisions. Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.